Let's get right to it. Sean, the Sage Rosenfels, are they bringing him in to be the starter or can he be the backup? I mean, a lot of people are wondering, hey, he's going to be the starter, which I don't know how great a deal that is. But what do you see him coming in as? Is that it? To be I the think starter? they bring him in to compete with Tavares and, and may the best man win. I mean, you know, I, don't, I don't think you make this move uh, unless you think he's at least going to be a quality backup for you. And, uh, you know, like, like Childress said uh, at the Combine on Friday, you know, it's a little different from last year where Tavares came in as the clear-cut starter. You know, this year he's saying that Tavares has a chance to win the job, and, and I've been told that it's really his job to lose. And so, uh, Does this mean, Rick, that Gus Farad is done as a Viking? They release him and don't, and don't bring him to camp? Well, I think that's really up to Gus. I mean, I think uh, if he, if you're in his shoes, do you look at this situation and say, "Hey, this is something that I want to be a part of," be a, you know, have three, three uh, veterans, you know, in camp to to compete for this job? I mean, Gus has obviously said in the recent past that he doesn't want to be here unless you know he's really going to be the guy to 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 have the best chance to start and to lead this team. So, John, I don't see how you can bring Sage Rosenfels. Tavares Jackson and Gus Farad in because one of them you're not going to make one of them your third quarterback. I can't see that scenario. Certainly not Gus is going to stand for it. Nor Tavares. I think Farad's probably the odd man out, and it's you know what Sean was saying earlier. It's going to be Sage against uh, Jackson. You know, may the best man win. And if you believe the reports that the Vikings have already talked long-term extension uh, with Rosenfels, is it? It sounds like it might he might even be the long-term solution that they actually think he's going to end up being the starter. Tavares might be in the last year of his contract. So, Who will excite this team as a uh, signing? Will it be a big name like last year, Jared Allen, or will it be fitting guys in like at right tackle and other need positions that it won't be the big name splash? You know, it kind of reminds me of, I think it was, it was 2003 when they brought Winfield in and they had a ton of cap space. And what they did was basically structure Winfield's contract to really front load it to eat up a lot of that cap space. I think that's kind of a situation we're looking at. I don't care what they say. I know they have the green light to pursue whoever from ownership, but Childress and Spielman, all those guys know that they've spent a lot of money these last couple of years, and I think it'd be hard-pressed to go out and do it again given all the Vikings' issues, the fact that there's no momentum on the uh, you know stadium front. If it was up to me, yeah. I'd sign Albert Hainsworth. And I'd move Kevin Williams to defensive end. <laughs> what? Notice, now this time, Sean, you can go after him. <laughs> and the only reason I say that is, and I know is Haynes, because, uh, there's a lot of red flags out I'm there. Because I'm not very smart. That's, <laughs> that's why he says but, that. But, you know, Pat's got maybe a year left. You bring Haynesworth in, you plug him in. That gives you another year to figure out, you know, is it Ray Edwards, is it Kenechi or, or whomever. But Haynesworth is one of those guys that would get people excited, um, you know what I would like to see if we're doing wishful things in here? You know, I, I know John's been all over this. I really would like to see them just go out and get, like, Matt Castle. I, I think it'd be fun. I mean, the, the guy's got his ups and downs, but the kid can throw the long ball, which is a big part of this offense. He's, you know, as athletic, if not more athletic, than Tavares Jackson. And he obviously can make those basic throws because that's what they asked him to do, dump the ball off to the running backs, quick little screen passes to receivers. And there's no dispute that he's the starter if he comes yeah, in. Yeah, I mean, the, the problem is is how much do you pay this kid? But this is literally the last hole that the Vikings have to address. So why not just go ahead and make the splash? I think that'd get people excited. This is Bob Sansevier <laughs> with Rick Alonzo, Sean Jensen, and John Plume. We'll talk about the Vikings again very soon.